Hello DIY flower designers, welcome to my YouTube channel Flowers by Jenna Mae where I help you learn how to make super simple, easy, fun flower arrangements um, for your home or maybe you're just starting to learn flower design and you're wanting to do it as a business, you can come in and check out these videos and I'm going to show you the mechanics behind floral design. So what we're going to show you today is I've got this super cute little muffin or like loaf pan in here and it's got a little bit of oasis. Um, you can get these at Michael's, these little things right here. And then I just found this really cute um, little present at Target and I just thought it would be really cute to put it in our kitchen. Um, you could definitely, if you wanted to deliver this, you'd have to deliver it into two pieces and set it up when you get there because I don't have this glued or, or anything to that. But we're just gonna use this as a cute little Christmassy design in our kitchen. So what I'm gonna do first is I've got some gorgeous Christmas greens. It's going to make our whole house smell amazing. We're just going to pop these in. We're going to give it um, just some side pieces here. We're going to just build out like a tiny little centerpiece. We're going to keep this super simple. We're going to do lots of greens. So we're going to green first. In floral design, we use a ton of greens, okay? I soaked um, the, the Oasis here. Um, and Crystal 3, which is a, a forest preservative that you can use for base or foam. So I did that so that there's a nice preservative in here. And I'm just going to use these greens to build out my shape of the flower design. Um, greens really are the base when we're doing flowers. In almost every single design, the greens are the base. So we're going to flow out a really fun little design here. We've got greens going in. We're gonna green up this container, keep it super simple, but it's just a bunch of Christmas greens. So whatever you've got in your yard, you can use. I actually got these out of my mom's yard because her yard is amazing. We live in the Northwest and so we have evergreens everywhere. So we're pretty lucky. Just putting all these little pieces in here, creating a space for the flowers to go. Um, so green it all up, make it look beautiful. Christmas greens are gorgeous and they smell amazing right now. I'm loving them for the winter season. We've got a ton, ton of them, so just green them down, make them look beautiful. Bring those Christmas, the greens are gonna pop as soon as I put in the flowers. Right now, that just looks like a bunch of green, huh? You can barely even see it on camera. You're gonna be able to see it here in a minute once we pop those flowers in. It's gonna make it all come to life. It's really beautiful, so fun. Hope you're enjoying your holiday season. This is gonna be, it's a great Christmas season with all of these beautiful, I've been doing lots of flowers here in my flower studio for the holidays, really fun. Look at that, we're kind of just, we're basically making like a little Christmas tree in the arrangement. Keep it all easy and beautiful to go. I'm greening towards this so that you can see the outside of the pretty parts of the greens, okay? Because there's like this side that's a little dull, but you want to green with that side showing, okay? And you're greening it up so you can, so it looks beautiful. Got all those greens put in there. We're gonna wake it up with some roses and some other little treats that we've got in here. And I've got some fun things going in that are a little different that we don't see a ton. So I thought it'd be fun just to create something simple and just kind of get your brain thinking about other fun, creative things you can go make for this holiday season. So fun. I do have a Christmas spirit course if you wanna come and dig into your creativity and who you are as a floral designer, I'll put the link below this video. You can go check it out, it's really fun. You can receive behind the scenes mentoring from me, okay? I answer all the questions in the back of the course, really fun. Oh my gosh, this cedar, oh my, it smells so good, you guys. Oh my goodness, it smells amazing. We're almost done greening here. See how many greens go into a flower arrangement? There's a lot. Just kind of working with the vibe of those. Oh, those are so pretty and it makes it smell amazing in here. My hands are getting a little sappy too. Oh, that's how you know it's Christmas. When your hands start to get a little like that, you just got a little black. <laughs> it's Christmas 
season, your hands look like that, you might be a florist. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. It turned out so pretty with the greens. I know it's kind of hard to see it on the camera, but we're gonna wake it up with some roses and some fun things. So I've got these gorgeous red roses. They're gonna tie in the beautiful red present. How cute is this? We're gonna pop in an apple, because you know we gotta do something a little bit different in this flower design. We've got a little orange, kind of fun. I'm gonna cut off a little bit because I think it needs to be a little bit shorter. We're breaking the line of the container with some just fun little other accents. I've got a little pine cone going right in here. So fun. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in some more red roses and we're gonna wake it up with some gorgeous filler. Okay, that filler is gonna help this arrangement really pop. I think I'm gonna echo this red rose that's over here. I'm gonna cut it down a little lower. Oh, so pretty. Yep, yeah, looks good with that. And you know, that pinky lavender is kind of in this year. We're gonna throw this into this gorgeous arrangement for that kind of color trend. We've got the uh, green in here. We've got some red. We've got like the pink stuff that's kind of going in. That pinky purple, so pretty. That rose, is it gonna wanna find a spot? Let's see, let's see, let's see. There we go. There we go. I'll turn it so you can see. It's kind of brightening things up a little bit. Need to brighten it up. It's gonna be beautiful. Okay. Oh, so pretty. I think a little bit of orange in here to kind of brighten it up just a little bit. Sorry, I gotta turn it towards me so I can kind of see. Yeah, I'm gonna do it a little lower, I think. Look it, it's gonna give you a whom with that. Look at how cute that is. Isn't that darling? I'm just gonna add in, I got a little bit more roses. I'm gonna put down right in here because there's a little bit of a hole. So when you look down over the present, you're gonna see red roses. So pretty, right? This little arrangement for how tiny it is, is packed with these red roses. It's darling and gorgeous. Okay, now what we're gonna do to wake up the flowers, we're gonna put in some filler. I'm gonna do a little baby's breath. And to tie in the orange, cause right, orange is in the color we normally see a lot. We're going to add in the orange filler too that I got. And then to tie in the, um, so that'll tie in the oranges. To tie in the lavender rose, guess what? We've got some lavender filler. So we're gonna put this in there too. So we've got some tinted orange lavender. We've got some lavender, lavender. Adding in fillers that have a hue of what we've got going on in the arrangement is one of my favorite things to tie it all together, okay? All of us are a little bit different. So do what feels good to you in your designs. If you're like, Jen, I don't want that much filler. You don't have to put it in there. Filler is like a, hmm, what's that in there? What's that extra little thing you put in there? It's a great way to allow your flowers to kind of look like they're more airy. Um, it also fills holes. So that's awesome, right? Who does, who, no one wants to see our holes as a floral designer. You wanna make sure you're covering your floral mechanics. Um, but definitely it's one of those things like just, um, adding the filler in there is going to create a little bit of what I would call movement and airiness. It's going to break up some piece of things that maybe aren't working so well. So if something's a little bit too dense, that's where this comes in. It gives it a, a little bit of place for the butterflies to land. Okay. And I do love to add in the orange in the places where the oranges are not, because then it allows the color orange to kind of be through the arrangement. It's kind of cool, I like it. Very different with the, the three different fillers. But if you guys don't know, I like crazy flower combinations and I don't do anything, you know, that we see everywhere. So if you're like, this is a different color combination for Christmas, yes it is but it's so happy and beautiful. 
Now to add just a little bit of classic, classic touch on it, we're gonna add a little bit of baby's breath in there. And I'm gonna follow this through the roses because we see baby's breath and roses a lot together, but the red and white for Christmas is so pretty. So I'm kind of just gonna fill in with the white filler in between the roses. So I did the other filler kind of on the outside now I'm just going to tuck in the little white filler. You see, just like kind of little delicate in between those roses. I'm going to kind of fluff the flowers in there so it does what I want it to. And there's like a little place in here you can stick your finger in. You have to have little tiny fluff fingers sometimes. Do intricate designs like this, really compacted small designs, like we think they're easy, but they have way more details you have to be pay attention to. Okay, so not necessarily always easier. Yeah, they may be smaller, but they have more intricate details that you gotta pay attention to as a designer. So I've got this really cool little path of the baby's breath. It's really pretty. I am gonna throw just a tiny bit over here, but I love how it's just kind of like going through. It's really pretty. I know it's hard to see things on screen. It's not always the same. It always looks so much better in person. <laughs> always. But this is just pretty. I'm just gonna put a little bit more. This looks like the cutest little present ever. How adorable is this little flower arrangement? I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna check it to make sure that there's not any, you know, holes. And if there's holes, I'm gonna take some greens and I'm gonna put those in there. I love how these roses are kind of just working around. It turned out so cute. Oh my gosh, how cute is this little present? It's adorable. So pretty, so simple. Just a little Christmas green in here to fill a little hole and kind of to work around that little present. I'm wondering, oh my goodness. I love this. Oh my goodness, it smells like Christmas. Like my little work area. You see how messy flowers are? It's pretty messy, you guys. Looks like chopped salad usually when I get done with flower design in my office. It's just like everywhere I gotta sweep it all up. <laughs> just know flowers get a little bit messy when you're piecing things down. But listen, oh my gosh, it smells so good. Okay. If only we had smell -a vision so you could smell all the beautiful greens in this office. My daughter walked in here the other day and she goes, Mom, it smells like Christmas in here. The eucalyptus had been in here. I have eucalyptus, dried eucalyptus, and oh my goodness, it smelled up this entire room, but it smelled amazing in here. I'm just kind of filling in those greens so there's no holes. So just looking around to make sure there's no holes down low. We don't want holes in our designs. Not at all. This turned out so cute. It's like a little Christmas present. Oh my goodness. Fun little designs. The apples hit. Oh my goodness, how cute is this little Christmas design? So fun. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you're not yet in the DIY flower designer community on Facebook, you can pop over there. I will put all of the details of how you can find me on social media in the description box below this video. But the DIY Flower Designer community is an amazing community and it's growing and it's a great place to come and learn flower design. So come on over, come learn flowers. I hope you guys are having a beautiful holiday season and enjoying the flowers and we'll see you next week. Bye now.